Abraham Ten Broek was a New York politician, businessman, and militia brigadier general of Dutch descent. He was twice mayor of Albany, New York and built one of the largest mansions in the area that still stands more than 200 years later. Early life Abraham Ten Broek was the son of Dirk Ten Broek and Margarita Kula. His great-grandfathers included former Albany mayors Dirk Wessels Ten Broek and Jan Janssen Bleeker. His father was a politician and also served as Albany's mayor beginning in 1746. Abraham was sent to New York City to learn business with his sister Christine as husband, Philip Livingston. He was then sent to Europe to learn international business after his father's death in 1751, returning to Albany in 1752. Ten Broek increased his wealth via trade while in Albany. During the 1750s, he was involved in the provincial militia. In 1759, he was elected to the city council and in 1760, he was elected to the province of New York Assembly while continuing to serve Albany. In November 1763, he married Elizabeth Van Rensselaer, a sister of patroon Stephen Van Rensselaer II and great-granddaughter of the first native-born mayor of New York City, Stephanus Van Cortland. By the mid-1760s, Ten Broek was one of Albany's wealthiest men. In 1769, his brother-in-law died at age 27 and Ten Broek was named co-administrator of the Manor of Rensselaer's Wyke, a position he held until 1784 when his nephew, Stephen Van Rensselaer III, came of age. American Revolution Ten Broek continued his military involvement and was named Colonel of the Albany County Militia in 1775. On June 25, 1778, he was named Brigadier General of the Tryon and Albany Counties of Militia and then Albany County only. He resigned March 26, 1781. He was a member of the New York Provincial Congress from 1775 to 1777 and was its chairman of its Committee of Safety in 1777. After war years, after the death of Mayor John Barclay, Ten Broek was appointed mayor of Albany in 1779, remaining in office until 1783. In March 1789, he ran for Congress but was defeated by Jeremiah Van Rensselaer. In 1796, Mayor Abraham Yates died and Ten Broek was again appointed mayor of Albany, remaining in office until 1798. Ten Broek was a Federalist presidential elector in 1796 and cast his votes for John Adams and Thomas Pinckney. The Ten Broeks lived in a house that was assessed equally with the Schuyler Mansion and Yates Mansion in 1788. In 1797, it was burned in a fire that destroyed several city blocks. Construction was started on the new Ten Broek Mansion soon after and the family resided there beginning in 1798. The historic mansion still stands in Arbor Hill more than 200 years later.